combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everybody, it is Farmhand Mike and it is the end of summer and that means it's time for the Farm Progress Show. I am out in Boone, Iowa for the 2020 Farm Progress Show, but the Farm Progress Show as we know it is going to be a lot different this year. The show was actually canceled, but they're going to do a virtual show, so normally I would have been here this week. This is the versatile display. This would be full of equipment already, and we'd be getting field demo equipment and so forth ready, but uh, that's not the case this year. Uh in the virtual Farm Progress Show field demos, I will be running this Versatile 520 Delta Track tractor with a Versatile Fury high speed disc that is 30 foot in width. This was brought over by Nice Incorporated and Western Iowa Power, who has locations in Grand Junction, Pomeroy, and Correctionville, Iowa. On the way out to Iowa, I took Route 30 from Cedar Rapids over to Ames, and I got to see a lot of the damage from that derecho, that windstorm they had a few weeks ago. This is the town of Elberon, Iowa. I hope I pronounced that right, but you can see how it just wiped out this grain elevator. There's a lot of corn that was flattened. I mean, this uh, took a wide path and a long path and just did significant damage. It was unbelievable. I know there's been a lot of pictures going around and so forth, but I just pulled on this side road here just to get a few drone shots just to include in this video to show everybody the devastation. Some of this corn was already being disked under while I was out here in Iowa. A lot of this I don't think is going to be able to be harvested, plus there's probably going to be a lot of surprises out here in the fields with roofs and uh, just debris and whatnot. I have some footage of another grain elevator in Luther, Iowa, which was close to the show. I'll have that later on in the video here, so if you watch this video through, you should see that, but just look at that field of corn, how flat that is. Okay, now let's get back to the Farm Progress Show. So this is the Friday before the normal show would have started, so this normally would already be full of equipment, tents, everything. So, like I said, the show's going to be a lot different this year, and it is definitely a lot different this year. The Farm Progress Show is held here in Boone, Iowa every other year, and then on the off years, it's held in Decatur, Illinois. So it bounces back and forth every other year between Decatur and Boone. It was scheduled to be on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, September 1st, 2nd, and 3rd here in Boone, Iowa. But since the show was canceled and they had the virtual show, it was on Monday, August 31st, and September 1st. The virtual show was pretty well limited to show personnel, media, and company reps running the machinery. There was eight different combines running in the corn harvest demos, tractors and grain carts, lots of tillage equipment. I got footage of most of it that you're going to see here through the rest of the video. The corn here was down, but this corn did not get the worst of the windstorm that come through Iowa a few weeks ago. The Farm Progress Show plants a short day like a 90-day corn to ensure that they have corn dry enough to harvest for the end of August 1st of September. I was told this corn was down to 22%, and you can look through the field here and see a little bit of that wind damage here, but definitely not as bad as some of the stuff I showed you earlier in the video. The corn harvest demo started out everybody running their combine individually, then they lined all eight of them up as you can see here and all made a pass together. The rows were not quite long enough that you could get all eight of them going together and get it in one shot, but I tried my best. I was lucky enough that the Farm Progress Show did let me fly my drone here. There was three drones here total, so I stayed towards the end of the field here to get my footage. You may see another drone or so in uh, some of the footage I have, but uh, I stayed behind them, gave them plenty of room. The combines running in the corn harvest demos in no particular order are the Kloss Lexion 8700, with a 16 row corn head, a John Deere X9 1100 with a 16 row folding corn head. I did a separate video on that on my YouTube channel. You can go back and check that out. Also, a New Holland CR890 with a 12 row folding corn head, a Fent Ideal 9T combine with a 16 row corn head, a Case International 9250 combine with their 12 row folding corn head, Calmer corn heads ran a 12 row on a John Deere S670, McDon had their new corn head here on a John Deere S680, and Drago was running a corn head on a Case International 8230 combine.
And coming up in the video, you're going to see several tractors and grain carts that were here at the Virtual Farm Progress Show. And again, in no particular order, was a Fent 1167 Vario MT tractor, point and Unverfirth 2020 grain cart, a Kloss Zerion 5000 tractor, point a Balzer 1700 grain cart, and later a JM X 1222 cart, a New Holland T9 645 tractor, point and Unverfirth V 1300 cart. A Case International 540 Quad Track Point and Unverfer 1319 cart. A Massey Ferguson 8735S Tractor Point, a Brant 1120 XT. A John Deere 8RX 410 Point, a Brent 1396 Grain Cart. A John Deere 9620 RT Tractor Point, a Brent 2596 Grain Cart. And there was also a Wheeled Fent Tractor out here. I didn't get the model number, but it was Point, a Brent 1520 XT Cart. That should pretty well wrap that up, and none will be coming up here shortly. So I thought I was going to be here at the show myself, you know, and uh, look at these guys. Anyone recognize any of them? Anyways, it was all they're done. here. So. Anybody know this guy back here? Now for the next several minutes you're going to see all eight combines running individually. This was the kickoff of the harvest demos for the virtual show. The Fent Ideal 9T combine with a 16 row head kicked it off. Second was the Case International 9250 Combine with a 12-row folding corn head. And now making the pass is the Kloss Lexion 8700 Combine with a 16 row corn head. Now running is a Calmer Cornhead on a John Deere S670 Combine.
Now running is the John Deere X9 1100 Combine with a 16 row folding corn head. I just posted a longer video of this machine. It's about 13 minutes long on my channel. You can go back and check that out if you have not seen it. Now running is a Drago corn head on a Case International 8230 combo. Now running is the new Mac Don corn head on a John Deere S680 combine. And the 8th combine to run here is a New Holland CR890 combine with their 12 row folding corn head. This is not a bad way to kick off the first corn harvest video of the 2020 season here on my YouTube channel with this many different combines, tractors, and grain carts all in one location. Really doesn't get any better than this. Now for the next couple minutes, if you like a variety of combines, tractors, and grain carts of all colors working together, everybody just kind of jumped in here, mixed it up, and made for some pretty good footage as you are going to see.
Well, wasn't that just great? How about some more?
Now that you got to see all these big combines, tractors, and grain carts in action, which one's your favorite one? Comment below. It's almost like that John Deere 8RX and that Kloss Lexion Combine were social distancing from each other. to the tillage part of the farm progress show so i'm out here with the versatile 520 delta track in a 30 foot fury and i got brian from brian's farming videos from chillicothe ohio is riding with me getting some shots for his channel so that's pretty cool we'll have a versatile on brian's channel now Progress Show 2020 virtual style. running our practice runs before the field demo starts. So we started out running this about three inches deep. This corn here was just harvested this afternoon. They've been in a pretty uh, dry situation out here in Iowa, so the ground's pretty hard. And now we're running the disc all the way in. So we got about three inches of depth over here and about five inches of depth over here. Doing a really nice job. Since this is a farm show, the combines were not running their spreaders. You'll see spots where like the wind row of corn stalks is there that's what that is but anyways overall for the conditions we are doing a very nice job Made my official round for the virtual show for the camera i did not get any drone footage of myself but anyways i am done now responsibility over i'm heading back to park the tractor and let's watch some of the other tillage demos We 
even got to see a little ditcher action here at the show. There was two different ditchers that run here. I got a little drone video of this one and some on the ground footage of the other coming up. Sorry about the audio, yes I have a wind sock on my camera, but it is just windy and that causes trouble. It just didn't work out for me to get a lot of tillage footage of the other folks running their tillage since I was in that part of the show, so you're just going to have to stay tuned. I'll bring you the real stuff this fall right off the farm. I even got some bonus combine footage at the end of this video. So all the combines ran on Monday, August 31st for the media and the cameras and whatnot, but there were still some open slots. Everybody was here Tuesday. So uh, these uh, companies had some guys scheduled to ride in the combine with them, do some interviews and so forth. And I was lucky enough to be in the right place at the right time to catch some drone footage of this Boss Lexion 8700 combine with the 16 row head.
virtual show and I was so excited when I found out about this virtual show because I'm like because I work for a manufacturer I'm gonna be the only farm youtuber here at the show so I'm gonna have all this video of all this demo equipment out here on YouTube I'm, it's gonna be exclusively me I'm finally gonna be a YouTube star YouTube sensation I get here and look who I run into I run <laughs> into guess. the Welkers <laughs> And Brian's did, farming did. video. Anyways, had a good time here at the show with these guys, but uh, we are all going to head back home now. So, you guys got anything to say for the Farmhand Mike YouTube channel? Stay safe. Mike's awesome. Yeah. Wow, thanks. I, is this the third? I want to be with you forever. <laughs> Whoa, is that Big Bud 747 being loaded onto a trailer? I believe it is, and I may have some additional video coming. Anyways, that's going to wrap up this video of the 2020 Farm Progress Show Virtual Experience. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Feel free to hit that like button down there, comment below, subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at Farmhand Mike. And as always, I have a lot of content coming to the channel, so stay tuned, check back often, and see what I come up with. Thanks again, everybody.